Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on data table. It says that there are seven friends uh, who uh, visited Goa and they traveled partially using a bus and the remaining by a car. So in this table, we are given the distance from the city. We are given the distance covered by bus, the average speed of car journey and the total time taken. So basically we are given partial information and some information uh, which is not given would be asked in the questions. Okay. Now, uh, if we see this, uh, so we know the distance and we are given the distance by bus. So subtracting this, we get the distance traveled by car. Okay. And we are given the average speed during the car journey. So we will get the distance traveled by car. We know the average speed by car. So we will get the the time taken by car okay we we are given total time from that we can find the time taken by bus and then we can find the speed of the bus so let us do for one of these so if we calculate this this will come as 384 that will be the distance by car now speed by car is 64 so it will take 6 hour right total duration is 18 hours so that means 12 hours by bus time Okay, now we can find the speed of the bus. So 576, that means 48 km per hour is the speed of the bus. Okay, so this is how we can calculate for others. But unless it is asked, we won't be doing this. Okay, now if we see the question, the first question asks, which person traveled in the bus that had the highest average speed? So basically for this, we will have to calculate all the values. So it is advisable not to attempt this question at first this should be the last choice last choice of question that we one must attempt okay now how many of them spend a longer duration traveling in bus than in car uh, this we can find out by finding the uh, this is one step less than this one so this should be the second last thing to do because we need to calculate for all of them we need to calculate the duration of car journey and then we can get the duration of bus journey okay and then this is a question that should be the first one to edit because it is asking a person specific question. So if it if such kind of a question comes in the examination scenario, you should tackle these two questions and move on to another set because these two questions would take a lot of time to calculate. Okay. So what is the ratio of the speeds of the bus and the car in which Vedika traveled? So we have to find for Vedika. So 780, 780 minus 270, that is 510. 60 is the speed of the car. So it will take 8.5 hours. Total is 16. 16, that means bus takes 7.5, right? 7.5 and 270. That is uh, 540 by 15, 30, uh, 6. Okay, so that will be the speed of the bus so 36 and it is asking what is asked that ratio of the speed of the bus and the car so uh, uh, the speed of bus is 36 and that of the car is 60 so the answer will be 3 ratio 5 okay so uh, now again we can attempt the fourth question that is had Mukul traveled in the bus for 8 hours and the rest by car how much time he would have saved in the entire journey okay and we have to assume that the speed of the bus and the car to be same as before so we have to solve for mukul right so we already calculated this now it says that he traveled in the bus for eight hours so uh, the the speed of the bus that we got here is uh, 48 right and he traveled by for 12 hours so instead had he traveled for eight hours that means 48 into 8 that would have been 384 kilometers by bus then in that case he would have traveled 576 by car right and if he traveled 576 by car with a speed of 64 he would have taken 9 hours and from bus he took 8 hours so in that case he would have taken a total of 17 hours and initially he is taking 18 hours so he must have saved 1 hour in that case okay now we have to uh, like of course as i said that in an examination scenario you should be skipping the other two questions but let me solve these for you okay so let's quickly do these calculations 1096 that is 576 576 uh, by car and that is 8 hours then 13 hours 
13 hours, 520, 40. Okay, 360, if we calculate, that is 455. 455 by 65 is 7, 7 is 8, 8 is 45, and then we have 450, 450 divided by 75 is 6, this is 12, so 6 hours here, that is 50 speed, uh, this is 495, 495 by uh, 66 is 33 into 15, so that will be 7.5 hours, 7.5, 10 hours here, 10 hours, that means 42 here, okay, so this is 385, that will give us uh, 646 okay uh, 646 by 68 so 68 10 9.5 hours okay 9.5 hours this is 16 16.5 that is 7 hours 7 hours 35 so that is 55 okay so this is i can do it fast so that does not mean that everyone should be attempting such a question in the paper so if your calculations are slow please uh, refrain from doing such lengthy calculations in the paper okay all right which person traveled in the bus that had the highest average speed so highest average Average speed is of which bus that is of uh, this bus right so a conch is the person who is traveling in that bus okay nee, or highest is uh, sorry sneha is the person highest is 55 so sneha is that person how many of them spend a longer duration traveling in bus than in car so bus than in car so this is the person traveling taking more time this person this person uh then they spend equal time this person spend more time so there are four such people so there were two local questions i would say that should have been attempted and two global questions uh, which took more time okay so if it took more time that means that uh, that should have been avoided in the paper right so this is a, this was a uh, doable set i mean uh, not so uh, logic intensive but a calculation intensive set so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.